Rhea, Moon, from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia, at en.wikipedia.org. This recording was last updated on October 29, 2011. Rhea is the second largest moon of Saturn and the ninth largest moon in the solar system. It was discovered in 1672 by Giovanni Domenico Cassini. Contents Section 1 Name Section 2 Physical Characteristics Section 3 Atmosphere Section 4 Possible Ring System Section 5 Exploration Section 6 Infobox Section 1 Name Rhea is named after the Titan Rhea of Greek mythology, Mother of the Gods. It is also designated Saturn V, being the fifth major moon going outward from the planet. Cassini named the four moons he discovered, Tethys, Dione, Rhea, and Iepetus, Sidera Loidosia, the star of Louis, to honor King Louis the Fourteenth. Astronomers fell into the habit of referring to them and Titan as Saturn I through Saturn V. Once Mimas and Enceladus were discovered, in 1789, the numbering scheme was extended to Saturn VII. The names of all seven satellites of Saturn, then known, come from John Herschel, son of William Herschel, discoverer of the planet Uranus, and two other Cronian moons, Mimas and Enceladus, in his 1847 publication, Results of Astronomical Observations Made at the Cape of Good Hope wherein he suggested the names of the Titans, sisters and brothers of Kronos, Saturn in Roman mythology, be used. Section 2. Physical Characteristics Section 2.1. Size, Mass, and Internal Structure Rhea is an icy body with a density of about 1.233 grams per centimeter cubed. This low density indicates that it is made of about 25% rock, density 3.25 grams per centimeter cubed, and about 75% water ice, density 0.93 grams per centimeter cubed. While Rhea is the ninth largest moon, it is only the tenth most massive moon. Earlier, it was assumed that Rhea had a rocky core in the center. However, measurements taken during a close flyby by the Cassini orbiter in 2005 cast this into doubt, though this remains controversial. In a paper published in 2007, it was claimed that the axial dimensionless moment of inertia coefficient was 0 0.4. Such a value indicated that Rhea had an almost homogeneous interior, with some compression of ice in the center, while the existence of a rocky core would imply a moment of inertia of about 0 0.34. In the same year, another paper claimed the momentum of inertia was about 0 0.37, implying that Rhea was partially differentiated. A year later, yet another paper claimed that the moon may not be in hydrostatic equilibrium, meaning that the moment of inertia cannot be determined from the gravity data alone. In 2008, an author of the first paper tried to reconcile these three disparate results. He concluded that there is a systematic error in the Cassini radio Doppler data used in the analysis, but after restricting the analysis to a subset of data obtained closest to the moon, he arrived at his old result that Rhea was in hydrostatic equilibrium and had the moment of inertia of about 0 0.4, again implying a homogeneous interior. Further measurements are necessary to resolve this problem. The triaxial shape of Rhea is consistent with a homogeneous body in hydrostatic equilibrium. Models suggest that Rhea could be capable of sustaining an internal liquid water ocean through heating by radioactive decay. Section 2.2 – Surface Features Rhea's features resemble those of Dione, with dissimilar leading and trailing hemispheres, suggesting similar composition and histories. The temperature on Rhea is 99 Kelvin, or minus 174 degrees Celsius, in direct sunlight, and between 73 Kelvin, or minus 200 degrees Celsius, and 53 Kelvin, minus 220 degrees Celsius, in the shade. 
Rhea has a rather typical heavily cratered surface, with the exceptions of a few large Dione-type fractures, wispy terrain, on the trailing hemisphere, the side facing away from the direction of the motion along Rhea's orbit, and a very faint line of material at Rhea's equator that may have been deposited by material deorbiting from its rings. Rhea has two very large impact basins on its anti-Cronian hemisphere, which are about 400 and 500 kilometers across. The more northerly and less degraded of the two, called Tirawa, is roughly comparable to the basin Odysseus on Tethys. There is a 48 kilometer diameter impact crater at 112 degrees west that is prominent because of an extended system of bright rays. This crater, called Inktomi, is nicknamed the Splat, and may be one of the youngest craters on the inner moons of Saturn. No evidence of any endogenic activity has been discovered. Its surface can be divided into two geologically different areas, based on crater density. The first area contains craters which are larger than 40 kilometers in diameter, whereas the second area, in parts of the polar and equatorial regions, has only craters under that size. This suggests that a major resurfacing event occurred some time during its formation. The leading hemisphere is heavily cratered and uniformly bright. As on Callisto, the craters lack the high relief features seen on the Moon and Mercury. On the trailing hemisphere, there is a network of bright swaths on a dark background and few visible craters. It has been thought that these bright areas might be material ejected from ice volcanoes early in Rhea's history, when its interior was still liquid. However, recent observations of Dione, which has an even darker trailing hemisphere and similar but more prominent bright streaks, shows that the streaks are in fact ice cliffs, resulting from extensive fracturing of the moon's surface. It is plausible that the bright streaks on the Rhenian surface are also tectonically formed ice cliffs. The January 17, 2006 distant flyby by the Cassini spacecraft yielded images of the Wispy hemisphere at a better resolution and a lower sun angle than previous observations. While scientific analysis is still pending, raw images from the flyby seem to show that Rhea streaks, in fact, are ice cliffs similar to those of Dione. For more information about Rhea's surface features, please see the Wikipedia article List of Geological Features on Rhea Section 3. Atmosphere On November 27, 2010, NASA announced the discovery of a tenuous atmosphere, exosphere. It consists of oxygen and carbon dioxide in proportion of roughly 5 to 2. The surface density of the exosphere is from 10 to the 5 to 10 to the 6 molecules in a cubic centimeter, depending on local temperature. The main source of oxygen is radiolysis of water ice at the surface by ions supplied by the magnetosphere of Saturn. The source of the carbon dioxide is less clear, but it may be related to oxidation of the organics present in ice, or to outgassing of the moon's interior. Section 4. Possible Ring System On March 6, 2008, NASA announced that Rhea may have a tenuous ring system. This would mark the first discovery of rings about a moon. The ring's existence was inferred by observed changes in the flow of electrons trapped by Saturn's magnetic field as Cassini passed by Rhea. Dust and debris could extend out to Rhea's hill sphere, but were thought to be denser near the moon, with three narrow rings of higher density. The case for a ring was strengthened by the subsequent finding of the presence of a set of small ultraviolet bright spots distributed along Rhea's equator, interpreted as the impact points of deorbiting ring material. However, when Cassini made targeted observations of the putative ring plane from several angles, no evidence of ring material was found, suggesting that another explanation for the earlier observations is needed. For more information, please see the Wikipedia article Rings of Rhea. Section 5. Exploration The first images of Rhea were obtained by Voyager 1 and 2 spacecraft in 1980 to 1981. 
There were four close targeted flybys by the Cassini orbiter. At a distance of 500 kilometers on November 26, 2005, at a distance of 5,750 kilometers on August 30th, 2007, at a distance of 100 kilometers on March 2nd, 2010, and at a 96 kilometer flyby on January 11, 2011. Rhea has also been imaged many times from long to moderate distances by the orbiter. Section 6 Info Box Discovery Discovered by G. D. Cassini. Discovery date December 23, 1672. Designations Alternative name Saturn V. Adjective Rian. Orbital characteristics Semi major axis 527,108 km. Eccentricity 0.001. 2583. Orbital period 4.518212 days. Inclination 0 0.345 degrees to Saturn's equator. Satellite of Saturn. Physical characteristics. Dimensions 1532.4 by 1525.6 by 1,524.4 kilometers. Mean radius, 763.8 plus or minus 1 kilometer. Surface area, 7,337,000 kilometers squared. Mass, 2.306518 plus or minus 0 0.000353 times 10 to the 21 kilograms, or 3.9 times 10 to the negative 4 Earths. Mean density, 1.236 plus or minus 0 0.005 grams per centimeter cubed. Equatorial surface gravity, 0 0.265 meters per second squared. Escape velocity, 0 0.635 kilometers per second. Synchronous rotation period, 4.518212 days. Axial tilt, 0. Geometric albedo, 0 0.949 plus or minus 0 0.003. Minimum surface temperature, 53 Kelvin. Maximum surface temperature, 99 Kelvin. Apparent Magnitude, 10. You have just finished listening to Rhea, Moon, from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia. This recording was last updated on October 29, 2011. This sound file and all text in the article are licensed under the Creative Commons Attribution Share Alike 3.0 Unported License, available at creativecommons.org slash licenses slash by SA slash 3.0.